Hello and welcome once again to another lesson, How do Scientists Collect and Use Data? Research is the key. When you research, you use reference materials and talk to experts to learn what is known. These kinds of resources are good sources of information. Examples are encyclopedias, books, science articles, museums, scientists, and science websites. Science tools. Scientists use tools to see far away things, to smell faint odors, to hear quiet sounds, and to feel vibrations their bodies cannot feel. Scientists use hand lenses, magnifying boxes, and microscopes to see small things. What is a microscope? A microscope is a tool for looking at objects that cannot be seen with the, with the eye alone or with the naked eye. What are measurement tools? Scientists use measurement tools to make their observations more exact. There are tools to measure the length or the distance, the mass, force, volume, and temperature. Most scientists use metric units with these tools. A pan balance. A pan balance is used to measure mass with the units called grams. Again, if you look at this picture, this is a pan balance and it is used to measure mass, which is the amount of material present in an object. What is the unit used to measure the mass? Grams or small letter G. Next, a spring scale. A spring scale is used to measure force in units called newtons. A spring scale again is used to measure force. The unit used to measure the force is newtons or capital letter N. Next is a tape measure. A tape measure is used to measure length in millimeters, centimeters, and meters. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. It has two sets of units, degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Again, a, them a thermometer is used to measure the temperature. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of an object. And we have two units to measure the temperature. We have degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Recording and displaying data. The bits of information that you observe are called data or simply information. Some data are in the form of numbers. Other data are in the form of descriptions such as written notes, diagrams, audio recordings, and photographs. Only observations are data. Displaying data. The data you, you record as you investigate may be correct, but not easy to understand. Later, you decide, you decide how to display data. Data can be displayed in different ways, such as in posters, maps, and graphs. Drawing conclusions. After you record your data and display it in a way that is easy to understand, your next step is to analyze the data. When you analyze data, you look for patterns or trends in it. You might identify a trend or a direction in the data over time. Communicating. Scientists communicate in many ways. When we communicate, meaning we share something we know. Scientists communicate in many ways, 
such as working together to collect data, comparing data, and reporting their results and conclusions. Conclusions often lead to new questions to investigate. Databases are collections of information or objects. Scientific information is communicated to others using databases. And that's it for today. I hope that you learned something from this lesson. How do scientists collect and use data? They use different tools, measuring tools, gathering information, and that also includes all the different scientific method. So I hope you have a great day. See you in the next lesson. Bye.